I just tell people, be prepared for higher rates and slower 7%. growth. 7%. Are we really going there? And, well, and how I don't know. That when I said 5%, growth. they said, are we going there? Yeah, it's possible. You know, which when, I, when I talk to my board, I say, yeah, it, it, can it go to 7%? The answer is yes. Are there factors that would drive it, you know, higher than, you know, where it is today? You know, 4.6 four, four, or 4.7, I'm talking about a 10-year bond now. Yes. Uh, is supply and demand could push high? Yes. I'm, I'm just saying be prepared for it. So, and, 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 and then the worst case is stagflation. Mm -hmm. You know, higher rates because you have a booming economy and there's a lot of competition for capital is not the same thing as stagflation. What are... What are the ripple effects of the stress of that? 7% rates on business, on your growth? Well, I'm not worried about JP Morgan. JP Morgan, you know, we, we, we are prepared. We can handle 7%. Mm -hmm. We can handle 2% again. 8%? Yeah, we can handle that too. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, I mean, so that's, that risk management is not the same thing as guessing the future. Mm -hmm. When risk management look at the range of potential outcomes and being able to say to yourself, we can handle this, we can handle this. We don't really expect it, and we can handle the in between. You know, if you bet your company on you know one outcome, so I think all companies do that. You know, and every company's got different exposures. You know, input prices, output prices. You know, some interest rates don't matter. Some it's the price of mozzarella. So you know, <laughs> what's your business? Your business is different. So, uh, but I, I think we don't know the effect of these things in the economy. So they may. We may have a soft landing, we may have a mild recession, we may have a harder recession. You know, obviously there are potential bad outcomes. The, you know, the worst one would be economically is stagflation. Right. Where you have low growth, high interest rates, and obviously if that happens you're going to see you know, a lot of people struggling.